hi guys welcome to my channel so as you can already see from the title of this video this video is going to be me talking about the NSAS slash NSWAT protest that has been going on in Nigeria for some weeks now for the purpose of those that really do not know maybe you searched out for this video and you really do not know what this movement is about or was about depending on the time you are watching this video I'm going to be giving a background knowledge of what this whole thing is about. So as you can, as you can, as the name implies, it's the end SAS movement. SAS is a unit in the police force in Nigeria that is supposed to fight against robbery, just as the name implies special anti-robbery squad, which is SAS. So this unit was kind of like from later by the government to help fight against robbery in the country, which is not a bad idea actually, because yeah, every country should actually have a unit like that. I believe every country does. It wouldn't have been a problem if these people were actually doing what they were meant to do. I'm sorry if you're hearing my daughter's voice. She's awake and she's lying down beside, beside me. So, mama. It wouldn't have been a problem if these people were actually doing what they were meant to do. But seriously, guys, I really do not know how to express how I feel, seriously. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning. I haven't encountered SARS myself, but like the very first time I started hearing about SARS and I started hearing someone complain about SARS was from one of my colleagues at work. And he would always complain that SARS stopped him on the way when he was coming to work or going back home and they harassed him and they took his money. And I'm like, what did you do? Because in my head, I'm like, SAS, SAS won't just stop you if you didn't do anything because these people are meant to fight against robbery. They are meant to fight um, against corruption. What did you do? And it's like, you didn't do anything. That, that's what they do when they see that you're dressed in a certain way that makes you look like a big boy, you know, that makes you look like you're rich. They stop you. They, they take your personal belongings. And it was just explaining these things. As of then, I just could not make sense out of it. Seriously. I took it so lightly. I took it lightly because in my head, I'm like, <laughs> I just could not make sense out of this. Seriously. So um, the second person I ever heard complain about this was my younger brother. And I remember when he complained, I was just like, okay, please try and do whatever you can do to prevent their problem. Thinking about the response I gave them right now, I feel so bad because I really took the issue so lightly because I just could not think that things would get so bad to the extent that people that are meant to fight against corruption are actually executing corruption themselves. Oh, God. See, I was going through Instagram um, on Facebook this is today is um thursday i was going through instagram on tuesday and guys my heart was really 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 broken i cannot even express how i feel at what i saw <sighs> guys okay so this whole movement this all this whole protest started and that was when i really started understanding what this um sas people have been doing and that was when people started talking out their experiences and everything that sas has been doing and i'm like god this has been going on and i didn't even i didn't really know about it so what these people do is that they just stop random people I, i'm talking about the sas now this unit that is supposed to fight against robbery they stop random people in the road, especially if they see you to be someone that is rich, you own a car, you are young. They, they, their target, their, their main target is youth, young people. They see that you're young, you're rich, you own an iPhone or an expensive phone, a laptop, a car. They stop you, accuse you that you won't have been able to own all these things except you are into corruption, except you are a criminal. And they are not just doing this to, to fight against corruption. They are doing it for their own greedy purposes because they would <laughs> because they would actually take these people and make them transfer money from their accounts into theirs 
I've heard of stories where they actually have to drag people to the to the ATM to to make them withdraw money and they take it away. I've heard of situations where they actually move around with POS machine and make people pay huge amounts of money into their accounts their savings into their account. They, they rob people of their personal belongings and these are people that are supposed to fight against robbery, but they're actually robbers themselves. So this whole movement started, at first when it started, when I saw it on social media, I was like, okay, thank God they are doing something about it. I really didn't, I didn't feel the way I was feeling right now about it then. I was just like, okay, this thing is needed. This thing is something that needed that needed to be done. And thank God they're already doing something about it. But like I said on Wednesday when I came back from work and I was going through the internet, guys, my heart was broken at what I saw. To see that citizens are being killed just because they are protesting and fighting for their lives. It's so heartbreaking to believe that we have gone past the era where we are begging the government for light, for good road, for education, for good health facilities. We've gone past that and has got into the stage where we are just begging the government to let us live our lives. Like that is where we are now in this country. To think that the police is actually returning bullets for placards. I can't understand the idea behind that. Can someone please help me understand? How would you return bullets for placards? Because I have, since I've been going through social media, watching videos and seeing pictures of protesters, I haven't seen any protester that is armed. I haven't, I haven't seen any protester with gun, with cutlasses or anything that is harmful. All I have been seeing are placards, all I have been seeing are flags. So how would you as a police officer be returning bullets for placards and killing innocent people, people that you are meant to protect? The whole movement started and after a while, um, the federal, um, the president of the country, Buhari, came up and said, okay, he's going to have a reform of the, of the unit. He's going to, he's going to deploy SAS into the police unit and then he's going to create another unit that is going to be um, fighting against robbery. And in my head, I'm like, deploy them into the police units. The corruption is not in their name. The corruption is not in their uniform. The corruption is actually in these people themselves. So deploying them into the police force, I don't see what difference that makes. It even makes things worse. Why is the police force in this country so highly corrupted? Like they are the most corrupted things I can think of in this whole country if i'm thinking about nigeria and i'm thinking about corruption police is the first thing that comes to mind and then later on the the government comes up with swat and they are like okay now swat is going to be in charge of what sas was doing so who are these people that is going to make up swat is it not the same group of people that were in sas and causing a lot of havoc like you need to go to the internet and start reading stories of people that they have killed people they have disabled innocent people they've actually thrown people into depression my heart goes out to every family that has lost someone as a result of this protest and i am so 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 sorry about it i know that there is no amount of condolences no amount of money that can be given to these families for the lives of their loved ones that has been lost that can actually take away that pain that space that has been left behind i really wish we could get to a place in this country where the government actually values the lives of their citizens so much because these are the people that you have voted into power to lead, to, to serve. And if you don't value them, then what are you doing in power? So guys, I really, really, I really, really want to give a big thumbs. I want to give a big thumbs up to every protester. Mama. I want to give a big thumbs up to every protester that is out there 
protesting and fighting for the future of this country everyone donating to this cause the, the nigerians in the diaspora working taking works for this cause celebrities posting about it i want to say a big thank you to everyone we just cannot keep quiet and allow the government treat us like rags and maltreat us in such a way that is completely unacceptable like the past few days i have been so proud of the youths of this country i'm so proud to be part of this generation the generation that is bringing change the change that is needed i am so proud and yeah I want to say a big thank you to everyone that is pushing this course let's keep fighting but please fight smartly please please i don't want to hear that um another person has lost his or her life because of this i don't want to hear that another mother is crying over a lost child i don't want to hear that another husband is crying over his lost wife and that wife is crying over a lost husband I just want this to be as peaceful as, as it can be and I really hope that the government looks into this and makes proper decisions decisions that when they actually come out with these decisions we would see that they had us in mind they had the future in mind not just for their own greedy and selfish purpose and please I'm going to be leaving some links in the descri description box um, the mama. So guys, I'm going to be leaving some links in the description box. There are links that you can use to donate, links to to sign a petition against um SARS. That's to sign for the NSAS movement. The only one I've used as a twin I'm filming this video is the one for the petition. I'm hoping to use others very soon. So please, let's just do what we can do to see that the life that has been lost for this cause is not just wasted. We really need to bring this to 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 a reasonable conclusion guys really need to bring it to a reasonable conclusion so yeah please check the description box for the links and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one